Hi, I'm Stephen Downs, and for those of you who can't test the new Moodle Net uh, first draft pre alpha, whatever it is, I thought I'd give you a quick look uh, because I was one of the ones that did get his name in on time, and so I was able to take a quick look. Anyhow, uh, it's a pretty typical sign in page. Here it is. Um, now, if you don't have an account you would click sign up put in the usual data I've already done that so I'm just going to sign in uh, to log in and keep my password a secret of course and so perfectly ordinary login here and so this is how it greets me says some nice things about me being part of the uh, test. Uh, my involvement in the testing process is subject to the code of conduct. I hope that doesn't include you will not do a video of it. <laughs> uh, no, it looks, looks okay. So it's the standard be nice to people code of conduct, uh, which I like. Uh, so, a number of languages are supported, including two types of Spanish, I really like that, and Estonian, or no, Basque, interesting. Uh, okay, so that's kind of cool, um, and I'm sure more, uh, more languages will be added in the future. So really, it breaks down into two major parts, the communities, and the collections. Now, the, there's a list of all the communities, the communities that I've joined, something called The Lounge and something called El Salon, uh, which I heard El Salon, I guess he pronounced Siena in Spanish, I think. So I imagine that's the Spanish version of The Lounge. So here's The Lounge. So, and this is, these, as it turns out, these are blog posts mostly not all, well yeah, I should read the links when I look at them uh, so this is from the blog this is from Moodle so these are web resources that they've added um, and then there's a random collection to which I could add or even edit yes I can even edit this I guess um, follow the collection to add a new resource so to follow the collection don't know how to follow the collection and I don't see any way oh there it is follow and now I can add a new resource so I'll add a resource yes folks it's my newsletter <laughs> so I'm just adding a new resource uh, boy that was over the would have expected it to go out, retrieve the resource, and uh, whoops, oh, I hate those kind of models. See what happens here? Uh, so it's in a model, but if you click outside, it's gone. Ah, but the good thing about this one is, oh no, the, the okay, so you have to be careful. See, here's the content you type in. If you click outside the model, and oh, rats and now you come back in it's all gone so you have to be careful yeah that's that's a common thing with these models I've had this uh, experience as well which suggests to me but doesn't yet prove to me that they're using bootstrap as a theme but I'll, I'll have a look at the source in a few minutes so e learning newsletter image enter the URL of an image no upload I guess eh? so let's see let's go to the website and let's find an image copy image address image location we'll paste that in here that was quick can I move it no it's just gonna clip the beak off my bird <laughs> okay that's too bad so there's something 
so so it will clip the beak off your bird that that that's a a good slogan for moodle net uh it's a little slow to upload this don't know why um shouldn't be any problem it's coming from my website which just loaded so uh, well we'll let it do its thing in the background oh but now it's probably gone eh? Uh, yeah. Well, hmm. so maybe that worked. Maybe it didn't. We don't know. Uh, it did not. Okay. So, attempt to upload a resource failure. Uh, hey, it's day one. That's how it'll work. Um, so, let's look at uh, the communities. Now, these are. I I think. The lounge is kind of a predefined community, and uh, here are some other communities. So uh, let's try joining one, programming OER, because that's a fascination of mine. So that was pretty easy. And now if I click on it and create a new collection. All right, so a new collection of what? Uh, I don't know. What is a collection? Hmm. Uh, I don't know. Well, let's create one. Uh, resource, let's call it resources. <laughs> um, OER programming resources. And there's that image thing again. It'd be better if I could upload as well, right? A minimum viable product all right so and now I can oh it automatically has me following things uh, oh I see so can I edit this yes so let's put there, there we go. because I've been studying node recently right so I'm pretty interested in that and I wonder if I can my sparrow in if I don't mess things up okay oh, and it really clipped the beak off my bird <laughs> oh my poor bird and, and my bird is pretty square right it, well it's a, a little bit wider than it is tall but so and these of course are perfect squares uh, left justified all right, so, and let's follow Java, even though I think Java is for people who have altogether too much time. Uh, okay, and so come back and we'll unfollow Java. All right, so that's communities. That's the, uh, that's it for communities. So here are collections all. All right, so here are the Node.js resources that I just added. Uh, and I don't see see the the concern here. I wonder eh, is if you have different communities and they each have collections about the same thing. Um, what happens? So, like, let's look at all of these communities here. Let's go to Moodle and Mathematics. If I created a community here, so I have to join it first. Create a new collection. Node.js resources so let's create that all right so here we go so let's go to collections all right so no JS resources no JS resources see the duplication there so you know you, you, you like to think oh no that'll never happen that'll happen okay um, following Okay, so these are the collections that I am following. Um, and okay, that's it. Um, pretty minimal. Uh, let's click on this. Downs, that's me. Uh, okay, I thought I might be able to edit my resources, my account or something here, but no. But presumably that's where it would be in the future at some point uh, if you have feedback click on the share feedback 
Uh, I guess since you're only watching a video, you won't be able to do that. Create a community is always available down here. So here's the community I can create. Um, so, yeah, let's try to create an OL daily community again. Okay, description, uh, e-learning, and, oh right, but of course there's no URL, so what's the point? There's no point. So let's go back home. Now, there was a place to add resources. Oh, that was the lounge? Yes. So, but there's no place to add resources in communities. Uh, oh, I see, but now it's in a collection and now we're gonna add a resource, but just the URL, no description. Well, that's kind of weird. So, hmm. Let's try. All right. We'll just try node.js as the resource that we'll add here. Enter, I guess. Oh, okay. Okay, and it auto fills. Well done. That's the way it should work. So there we go. I like that. That's that's sweet. Um, but why didn't it work back here? Or sorry, in the lounge, right? Uh, so create a collection, useful links, right? Collection, add a new resource. Okay, now we got this, right? So if I do this. should look it up and it finds nothing see that's not right <laughs> there is a title on my web page <laughs> um, and I think there's a description on my web page and all oh, but there is no image so uh, oops right I've used that already so let's go back copy the image location again that in here. And create. And now it's still going to fail. Eh? Okay, I'll click cancel and of course everything's done. So I don't know if it's the image upload that's failing there, although it worked somewhere else. Or maybe it's just a glitch in the submission. So that's MoodleNet. Um, 0 0.00001. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. And uh, I'm Stephen Downs. And I'm going to sign off now. Because why make this longer than it has to be?